right guys welcome back in the last video we learned how to create a very basic window using qt designer and the window somewhat looked like this and in this video we are going to learn how to create a menu bar so if you don't know what a menu bar is if you look at the top of your uh, qt designer so let's just click on create first of all and if you look at the top of your uh, qt designer you can see this file edit form and help options so this thing at the top is known as a menu bar and if you look at where my mouse is at the bottom there is this white thing and this is known as a status bar so for example if i go to an option like select all and the status bar you can see that it says select all widgets so we'll be creating that menu bar and the status bar status bar is going to be like a byproduct of creating menu bar we won't have to like actually create it but let's get started so first of all what we are going to do is we are going to come over here and double click on this type here and then we are just going to try and replicate what QT designer has. So I'm just going to add a file over here and press enter. And then inside file we have new and open on. Also you can see that it has a couple of shortcuts like control plus N and control plus O. So if we press that buttons in our keyboard, they are automatically going to happen. So what we can do is we can also add shortcuts. So first of all, we need to add this new and open inside our file, like a sub menu. So we can double click again over here and let's just add open and then there is this add separator. This basically adds a very thin line between different options of the sub menu. So for example, if I just uh, let's first of all add this again and press enter. If you don't press enter, it's not going to save. So now we can just add a separator and you'll be able to see that there is a thin line over here. So now let's add a save option and we are going to do the similar thing. See, I didn't press enter, so it didn't save. So let's do it again, press enter. And now let's come over here and let's add a help option. So let's click uh, enter and inside that let's just add uh, about. And what I want to do in the next video is that whenever we click on this about option, a pop up or a dialog box or a message box, whatever you want to call it, opens up. So we'll be discussing that in the next video. But for right now, we are going to be working on our menu bar. Now, if you go to our open and let's say you want to add further sub menu. So what you can do is you can click on this plus icon and you can just add a sub menu over here. So now let's focus on the status bar and the shortcut. So if you click on this open option and look at the right hand side, you can see that the variable name is action open. And then one of the properties is known as the status tip, which basically is what text do you want to show whenever this open option is hovered over. So what we can do is we can just add a status tip over here to open a file, something very, very simple. And then if you look a little bit at the bottom, there is also a property known as a shortcut. So whenever this open uh, button, you want to open a file or something, you can just press that on your keyboard and that will open up. So if you go to our shortcut, let's go to our open option again and scroll down a little bit. And over here, we can just press control A or whatever you want to do over here as a shortcut. What I'm going to do is for opening a file, I'm just going to uh, make it control plus O. And then you have to make sure that you save it. So you can see that there's a star at the top of this window, which means that our file is not saved. And if you create a uh, save this file as a UI file, it won't work. These shortcuts won't work. So you have to make sure that you save it. So to save it, you can just click on your window and then press control plus S on your keyboard and you can just save it somewhere. Let's just save it in this folder. And now you can see that the star has disappeared. And if we go to our open option, you can see we have our status bar and a status step and a shortcut. So let's do the same thing with our save option over here. The variable name is action save and our status step. Let's make it save this file. And then inside our shortcut, let's press control plus S on our keyboard. And that's pretty much it. And now you can see that the star option has appeared again. So we need to make sure that we save this file. And the final thing we need to learn is how to trigger an action whenever one of these menu buttons is clicked. So for example, when this open button is clicked, how do we trigger a function inside our code? And to test that, what we are going to do is we are going to add a very simple label over here. And just do the same things that we have done. We are going to just increase its size and increase its font size. Let's uh, make it a little bit bigger. So we are going to come over here. Let's make it maybe like 24 or something. And let's just add it over here. So what we are going to do is whenever this open button is clicked, we are going to change this text label to let's say open the file. And whenever the save button is clicked, we are going to change it to save the file or something like that. So that we know we are triggering a function whenever this open button is clicked. So now we can just save it. 
And what we need to do is obviously convert this UI file to a Python file. So we already learned how to do that in the last video. We are just gonna come to the folder which has this file. So I'm just gonna copy that and I'm gonna open up my command prompt at the same location where this file is. And then we are gonna use our pyuic5 command and the input file is known as untitled.ui. You can call it whatever you want. And the output file, let's call it latest underscore main dot pi and press enter. And this should create a Python file for us. And now let's go back to our code and you'll be able to see that our latest underscore main has been created. Let's run it to make sure that no problems are occurring inside our uh, window. So you can see that this menu bar has been created. But when we click, we click on on this uh, open button, nothing happens. But when we hover on it, you can see at the bottom of our window, it says on the status bar, open a file. So we know our status bar is working. Now, finally, we need to do something whenever this open button is clicked. So for that, we need to use something known as a trigger option inside our code. But first, actually, let's understand our code and see different parts that are there. So let's start from the top. We have our UI main window and which is being created and called inside this main method where we create an app and we have our main window and we are basically showing the window and making sure it exits properly and now inside our ui main window class we have our setup ui or setup user interface which is basically responsible for all the interface like labels and buttons inside that we have set our resize uh, we have set the size of our window and we have set the object name the object name is basically the variable name so if we come inside our qt designer and we click on our window you can see that our object name is main window and it is being set over here by the set object name and then we have our central uh, widget which is basically the area that is inside our window so for example if i run this right now you can see that this inside area is known as a central widget by Qt designer at least. So it basically creates this central widget and this is where we create our label. Label is basically the text that we have in the center, the text uh, label. And whenever we click on open, this text is gonna change. So this is our label where we set the location and we created the font and the font size. So let's, uh, let's make sure that it's separated a little bit and now we started with our menu bar over here set the location of the menu bar and then we have our menu file menu help basically the top areas help and file and then we come inside our action open so what is inside this file are open and safe so action open and action safe and these these are basically the object names that we have set inside our Qt designer if you guys don't remember if we go inside our file and click on open you can see that our object name is action open and this is being set inside qt designer by using this self.action save and then inside that we have actions and if you go inside retranslate ui it has a couple of things first of all it has open a file and this is how we are showing this inside a status bar and we also have save the file and we also have this set shortcut which basically sets the shortcuts for this action that is ctrl o and ctrl s so this is basically the overview of what's happening inside our code now we are going to make sure that whenever we click on this open button this text changes so first of all we are going to create a simple method just like we did previously and we are just going to call this method on underscore click you can call it whatever you want and first of all, because it's inside a class, we are going to write self and then it's going to take another parameter of text. So we are basically going to be passing some kind of a text whenever open or save is clicked. So for example, we are going to be passing a text like the file has been opened and this text label will be changing to that text. So we need to pass some kind of a text and you can understand this a little bit better as you go forward. So how do we change our text? We basically write self and then set, use the set text method and our variable name is label and whenever you forget anything like what your variable name is you can go back to your qt designer and check so inside a text label we can see that the object name is just label so we can set the text over here using this set text that we have already learned and now we can just write text so this is going to basically change the text to whatever we pass inside our on click method now we need to connect this method to this menu bar button that is inside our window and this is done using the method known as trigger and we are basically going to write self dot and then we are going to use our action new and action open so for example inside our qt designer our um, our open is action open so we are going to use that variable so action open and action save so let's copy that 
and we're going to write action open dot triggered so whenever that open button is clicked and then we need to connect this to our method so we're going to write connect and then we are going to use something known as a lambda so i'm just going to write lambda over here and you don't need to worry about this lambda why we are using it inside our uh, qd designer but let me just complete everything and then i'll tell you guys a little bit uh, as to why we are using this lambda this is basically like a very minute method that is inside the anonymous method that you can use but more on that later and then we are just going to write inside that lambda self dot on clicked and this is basically our method name and inside that whatever text we want to display open so let's go right now i'm just going to write open just to see whether it's working or not so now we can just uh, run it again let me just close this window and run this over here and click on open and now you can see that the text has been changed so what is happening over here is that whenever we click on the open button it triggers this connection and it basically calls this on click method and sends this text to this text parameter and we are basically changing the text using set text method so this lambda is basically helping transfer this open this open text to this parameter of def on click i won't go into what lambda is because this video series is not about that and now we can do the basically the same thing for our action save too so we can just uh, copy this and paste it over here and this time our variable name will be a little bit different so let's click over here and action save let's copy that go back to our code and instead of action open let's change it to action save and this time let's just write save a file and instead of open let's say open a file and now let's run this and see if it works properly so let's close this and click on now uh, run so now if we click on open you can see it says open a file the e is missing because the whole text is not being able to adjust properly inside our uh, label because inside our qt designer we haven't given it proper space so if if we had given it more space this text would be there but what you can do is inside your code you can use something known as a adjust text so for example over here i'm just going to write self dot label dot adjust text or adjust size so i'm just going to write adjust size and it's going to automatically adjust the size for you don't need to worry about it so let's close this again and now let's run it and now when we click on open you can see open a file and if we click on save it says save a file so guys this is pretty much it for this video in this video we learned how to create a very simple menu bar and in the next video we are going to learn how to create a dialog box so whenever you click on about it's going to open up a pop-up box or a message box or a dialog box whatever you want to call it so i'll see you in the next video